guys like the name Pure Bullshit? Comment below. Pure Bullshit. Fancy seeing you all here again. This Hi. is her. Yeah. So, um, how you guys been doing? I mean, Justin, you're like surviving. I'm surviving. Nick, ten days. Ten days out right now. I think something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Nick is thriving. Oh yeah, I'm thriving. I'm not. I'm not dying yet. Yeah, yeah. And Q is. How are you doing, Q? Beast. Q is huge. Q is huge. Q's all, Q's all, all right. fat and happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm chunky, man. Life is good. <laughs> yeah, you look really so, good, dude. You post you post that video the other day of you posing, and I was really impressed, man. You look fucking awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank there you. Go. Yeah, I think oh, you had a lot of ground to cover. Yeah, <laughs> I think you got one of the best double <laughs> biceps all year round. It's like, like there's some people no. like like myself, like my front double will look good near the show, whatever, right? But like your your front double is like whatever you do, you just put your arms up. It's like a perfect front double. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, mine, looks, mine looks mine looks. Mine looks really nice right now, and then, you know, fucking two months ago, it looked like a bag of shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Quinn, hey, have, you, have you and Matt talked show yet? No, we haven't. We haven't. Like, not a lot of people are asking me that, and it's, it's funny yeah. because I'm just, like, I'm so stuck in, like, the right now. I'm so focused on trying to get huge and put on more tissue. But Good. whatever he wants to do, I'll do. doesn't matter what yeah. show tells me, and I'll, I'll do it. You guys talk about timelines at all, like spring, May, or like, you know, summer? Or are you guys still looking towards the end of next year? You have no idea? Bro, we haven't spoke about <laughs> shit. <laughs> that's good, though. It's I like think it. <laughs> I think that's a, that's, I think that's a good way to go about it. It's just like, right, focus on what you're doing right now. Yeah. You know you got ground to cover. Just work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, he's, he's such a, he's, he's really easy. Uh, how, do you, how do you feel? How do you feel right now? I feel great, man. How's training? Great. Uh, training's good. Yo, you know what? Actually, that between ETL, man, man, I feel the best I've ever been. I feel like I could push more, way more food now. <laughs> yeah, Dude, yeah. No, I, I've been I using it. I've been using that shit for years because Stan Everding actually talked about that in like a podcast like six mm. years ago, something like that. Like, uh, yeah. So I've been using yeah. that for a while. It's super helpful. I agree. Nice. How are yeah. you guys feeling? I'm great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all right. I got a little. I got a little high day yesterday, so I'm kind of riding off of that. But then I, I got. Describe. Hold on. Hold on. Describe little high day. Okay, so little high day was not much of a high day. So Matt was like, just put 200 grams of rice in each meal. So it was like I had 200 grams of rice in every meal. So it's like the pie just made you more hungry. Oh, it did today. I'm so fucking hungry. I rode up the bike for an hour. And like you know, when you get off the bike after an hour of fasted, you like. Oh, dude, I felt like I was yep. drunk almost. Like, you're like, I'm so hypo and like sweaty and like cold. You're like, holy yep. fuck, I'm gonna fucking pass out. But now, yeah. Now, did, from the little bit of a high day, did your weight go up or drop a little? It went up 0. 0.4 pounds. I was hoping, I was like, I was like, I'm basically the same weight. So hopefully we just do it again. But then he was like, all right, back to fucking, <laughs> back to suffering. It's all, all good. Right. He was, back to he was like, he was like, yeah, that's exactly what he said. Jasmine goes, he's going to tell you to go back to baseline. I was like, ah, fuck yeah, probably. Back to baseline. And then first thing he says, like, all right, let's get back to baseline. But yeah, I, uh, he, today he was just kind of like, dude, we got 10 days. He goes, I think three, four pounds. He's like, that, and, and you'll be exactly where you need to be. So no, no big deal. I think so. Everything's yeah. like from what you've posted. I mean, everything seems yeah. in, you know? Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm in very good condition and it's like a respectable condition, but Matt just wants to be, I mean, we want to be in very good condition. So it's just, and Matt likes know. to be peeled. Matt likes yeah. To be and unfortunately, peeled. like, you know, I talked about it last time and I talked to you in private about it, but like, we just kind of lost a little yeah. bit of ground in that prep. So now it's, you know, we're just kind of pushing hard here. He's, just, he's pushing hard. Yeah. I yeah. get it. Yeah, it's all good. I don't, I really don't mind. It's like, these are the fucking, you know, when you go through a prep and I don't know if you guys have ever had preps that were almost like too easy and you're like, why don't I feel like shit? Like, are we good? Yeah. Like I, sh- I feel like I should be feeling like shit. Well, this last two weeks I've felt horrible. So I was like, this is okay, fine. I got what I, I got what I asked for. Like, I feel like shit. The things are working. It's, it's funny you say that. I, I, that's, that was kind of how I felt in the Olympia prep. Yeah, I didn't ever feel like shit until like the final couple of weeks, you know. Yeah, oh, I'm I bet like, you that Arnold prep you felt like shit though. Horrible, yeah. horrible. Those <laughs> last, yeah. like, like we, I, I, I had like the little three or four week downtime because I didn't know I was going to be doing the Arnold, obviously. 
Yeah. So then when we kicked it in gear, my, it's like my body was like kind of in a stalling point. Yeah. So Matt just like revved the engine hard. Yeah. And I, I that was that was bad. Oh yeah, dude, you had you had to you had to cook off those few weeks of fucking cheesecake factory. Yeah, <laughs> took a, took, a, <laughs> took took a long time. <laughs> dude, I know, sometimes that can happen where you're like, you know, I'll give a guy, I'll give a client like a day, like say we're doing a show. Four weeks later, we're doing a show, and I'm like, Sunday, dude, you're peeled. Just like, go to breakfast with your girl, relax, eat a few clean meals. If you want to have one more meal today, that's okay. And then yeah. they shoot up 11 pounds, and I'm like, two weeks later, I'm like, fuck, and I still haven't got this 11 pounds off this kid. It's like, bro, what did you eat? <laughs> yeah, like, what did you do? <laughs> like, I just told you to be smart. Like, but some people just, you know, I, you know how it is. Some, I feel like everybody's different. Sometimes you'll have those meals, and the next day you're lighter. And then some days yeah. you'll have those meals, and the next day you're up fucking seven pounds. It's like, I, I don't really know what <sighs> dictates that. But Well, it, it's funny. There was one. After the honor, there was one cheat meal. Me and Maria went to um, go to Carmine's. You ever been in Carmine's? No, that's in Vegas. It's like a yes. steakhouse, right? It's well, it's a steak, but it's, an, it's a big Italian restaurant where they feed oh. you like family sized platters. Yeah. So baby. we got we got a big steak thing, which was you know fucking ginormous, and then mm -hmm. a big thing of spaghetti, which was ginormous. I gained maybe eight or nine pounds overnight from that. <laughs> And it, I really never lost it. <laughs> we started like the Arnold prep and shit. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking awesome, dude. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's Nick, cool. when, when you talk, just be careful when you're not too close because it's like pop popping the mic. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Making sure the audio is good for everyone. Um, yeah. You know, with, with the Thank Arnold, you, Nick, yeah. Uh, Nick, with the Arnold, is like how much, because you, you didn't plan to do it at first after the Olympia. No. How close did you just actually decide to put the hammer down? Uh, I think we were like eight weeks out, pretty much. And how many weeks have you just been like just relaxing? I think it was like a good four weeks. Like oh. it was, I think after the Olympia, I believe it was like twelve weeks till the Arnold. And um, after those four weeks, you know, he was, you know, they um off they raised the prize money and all that. And I, and I just You're said, like, let's oh. do it. I'm still in good shape. And because yeah. of how much of good shape I was still in, I I thought it was going to be like. Not easy, but like okay, this will be That's smooth bad, sailing, yeah. and it was the hard. It was the hardest eight weeks, damn, in a very long time. Like mm. that, it was probably those eight weeks were probably harder than my whole Olympia prep. Yeah, that's wow. right. It's. I feel like it's also there's got to be a mental aspect to that where you're like, I'm that was chilling. Hard. I'm I'm going to fucking dinner with my old lady, and um, well, you know, that was the thing, and, and then. The switch turned off, right? Like not yeah. off, off, but you know what I mean. Yeah, like, yeah, it was for off. sure. And then it was like eight weeks out, and now like you can't kind of ease into it. You basically just gotta whoop, ramp it right back. No. Yeah, and I think that immediate um, switch was kind of hard. Oh yeah, but, for sure. Dude. We just we had to, we had to push, and I, like yeah. I said, I thought it was gonna be easy because like even after like the first week I started, like that weekend, I got like two days worth of cheat meal. So I'm like, all right, dude, this is fucking easy peasy, man. Like we're on yeah. a roll, and then my body just stalled, like boop boop just stopped and i'm like what's going on how much are you I, doing in that prep um almost probably around what you're doing to be honest yeah i'm doing i'm doing an hour in the morning then 50 minutes in the in the evening yeah it was it was about wow. that and then See, your oh, diet, shit. and then the diet you're doing was pretty much that like I, I well my body i even offered it to matt i didn't know he was going to agree i'll be honest I said, we should probably just take this old school. I said, high protein, low fat, no carb. Let's kill it. He's like, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, dude. Like, you know, it's, oh. fucking, it's funny because Matt, Matt was like, hey, <laughs> Matt told me the other day, he's like, we have a good rate of loss. He's like, I think if we just stay here. And I was just like, listen, I can, I can do more cardio and eat less food if you say so. So just don't worry about me. And he was like, okay. Bumped up cardio and dropped my food. I was like, I, yeah. didn't, I didn't mean it, <laughs> but it's all good. But it, I think it's it good like, for yeah, no, it's like I, I brought that up to him. It was like, yeah, let, let's 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 do it. And he was like, yeah, let's do it. And then five minutes later, I get a whole new diet. And I'm like, fuck. Yeah, mine's like, old we school go. for sure. Mine's like all lean protein. I've got no added fats. I've I have a carb free meal at the end of the day that has two whole eggs. But now I'm doing avocado because the eggs are just bother me. So it's like my only fat yeah. for the day. Two hundred and seventy grams of cooked rice through the whole day. So it's like a hundred, hundred, and then seventy. Yeah. And then, yeah, I think so. the only added fats, if I recall, was uh, my last meal. I think we did like 
10 grams of like uh mackerel oh, or something yeah on top of fucking chicken breast like yummy yeah chick, chicken that was it that was the chicken and veggies yeah. and some mackerel for the last meal well it's good for people I to hear this stuff because i think i think some people sorry antoine i think some people assume that like looking at you and they see you're always lean and then they see the condition you guys you stay in all year round and they assume that maybe you don't have to go to the extremes that maybe some of these other guys do like you even said last episode you did three fucking hours of cardio during a prep once i did yeah yeah that's not that was pretty drastic that was mm-hmm. but see i like to think that was because like i was it was like i was new to competing so it was like yeah that baby fat that you're just trying to get off you know what yeah, i mean dude. As before, for sure because you know? well, i do feel like i do feel like you know once you get older and you're doing this more more than likely you should be able to kind of do a little bit less and less yeah, every year, you know, sure. unless, you know, you know, shit happens obviously. Yeah. Um, but you know, like I said, unless you're, you know, your body has a stalling point, like, you know, mine did for the Arnold, but just um, happened. you know, even for, even for the Olympia, I, I think the most cardio was, you know, we only did like 45 in the morning and that was it really. Yeah. Well, I yeah. think all preps are going to be different. So right now we're doing, <laughs> 20, 25 minutes and I'm like slowly coming down, which is what he wanted. So we're, we're on nice. the right path. It's good. How many weeks now? 17. Yeah. yeah 16 I, well, it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be 16 Friday. Yeah. 16 and a half. Okay. Yeah. Usually I Crazy. start like losing body fat at 17 weeks out. Yeah. I start slowly losing body fat. Well, now I, 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 I've, been, I've been talking to Justin in a private about it. I just got the CPAP now. So I'm hoping. Oh, game that- changer. I'm hoping that, yeah, I'm hoping that, it, that that helps quite a bit here. It is. You just yeah, gotta for fucking, sure. You, you got to fight through that first like week or two of discomfort. Like it's just such a pain in the ass. It wasn't like when I used it last night was my first night, so I, I talked to you about it. Yeah, I don't think it was like total discomfort. Um, I just maybe think like the air pressure wasn't high enough for me, so I have yeah. to go so, in and yeah, fix that. Mask or the nose. I have a fool. I have a fool. Yeah, I got the same. I got the same. Yeah. And you know what's crazy? I'm a, like, I'm a, like, I'm a mouth breather. So I yeah, me too. Me too. So me too. I think with the CPAP, when we didn't have it, we wouldn't get into a deep sleep, right? And I mm-hmm. think the, the brain recovers with any type of sleep, but the body recovers more with deep sleep. Yeah. So for yeah. us, unless I'm wrong, unless it's the opposite, but I'm pretty sure that's the way it is. So for us now with like better deep sleep, our body recovers better. And obviously we do bodybuilding. So you'll have, we'll probably have more, you're gonna have more gains now that you're doing that change. When I put yeah, my CPAP, so... go ahead. No, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Oh, what I was saying is when I got my CPAP, I put on like six, seven pounds in that first like two weeks. And then I, I held it. Like it was in my off season. I was at like a sticking point in body weight. I put it in and immediately gained oh. and just held it. Yeah. So I don't know if that was just like yeah, it's crazy because I felt or... like, of course, but I felt like my sleep was okay. Like I didn't, I never like I woke up groggy here and there, but I kind of thought maybe that was just some training hard, you know. Yeah. Um, and then I took the at home the at home test, and it was like she was like, "Yo, you're fucked." Yeah, it's <laughs> pretty bad, much. Dude. I I had the same thing. So, I had like an an apnea event every thirty minutes, so it was like. Yeah, so that, yeah. Yep. It was like a fucking suffocate, or no? It wasn't every thirty minutes. It was like a ten or thirty. It was like thirty apnea events an hour. So it was like every two yep. minutes, yeah. I was I was fucking choking. Yeah, and I decided, and I, and I, I decided to get it done because Maria would tell me, and she'd be like, "Oh, you're not, you stop breathing completely." So mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, "All right, yeah. well, maybe I should, yeah, you know, see what the deal is here." Jasmine would just so. film me sometimes. I'd just be like. Oh. I choke it clearly, not breathing, and then I would gasp for air. Then, like so bad. What about you, Quentin? You you use CPAP at all? No, I don't. That's an, I that's feel insane. like you're, I feel I like your big ass needs one. He does. Bro, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that big. <laughs> well, dude, Quentin, you're big for men. When we say dementia, but... I would I would be, I would go downstairs and try to hear. I would hear you snore from upstairs. Yeah, I mean. You definitely need. I one, definitely bro. have. I have a CPAP, <laughs> yeah. but uh, I don't have the CPAP. I remember I tried it a couple of years ago, but also around that time I did a couple sleep tests. So is, is this this was the first time I got to three hundred pounds, and I did the test, and it was the results were terrible. 
And then I, I cut Dude. down for a show and I did the test again without the CPAP and the results were great. So I'm like, okay, I don't need it. But this was like years ago. So I decided, fuck it. And, you know, I, I feel like my sleep quality definitely could be better. So I'm in the process mm -hmm. of going back. I just, I've been pushing it off for years because I hate going there. I hated that experience. It was terrible. You have all no, this go, fucking going wires there. attached oh, yeah. to you. Listen, you don't even, like, dude, you know that you have sleep apnea. Just fucking buy a CPAP, dude. Don't even just fucking get on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, buy a CPAP, put it on your face. It's simple. And then there's places <laughs> you can order your supplies online. Don't fucking worry about it. Just like I went I to know, the doctor I and I did this, that. I did that. Like, dude, who cares? Get a fucking CPAP and then order your hoses and masks online. No big deal. Yeah. You can do yeah. that. Yeah. The thing is, it's yeah. like way, the price is way better if you go through the doctor here. Yeah. Maybe, like yeah, maybe, better. maybe there. But yeah. for me, I was like, my insurance like covered the rental, then I'm paying 70 bucks a month. And then like at the end of eight months, I own it. And then I'm like, damn, I paid like fucking $700 for this thing. I see it on Facebook Marketplace for 300 bucks. Oh, no. really? No. Yeah. yeah. Like just get on fucking oh. Facebook Marketplace and just look for a CPAP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet I bet you if you just look for a CPAP, you'll find one. And then you can just go to like, like there's like there's like you can get on you can get on fucking Amazon and just order a hose and a mask. Get the yeah, I don't yeah. know about you. I'm a I'm a mouth breather, so I have to have the full face mask. Nope. That was the funny no, I think, I think most I think most of us are because we just like obviously we're suffocating all night, so the first thing we're gonna do is open our mouth and try to gasp for air. So Yeah. I, I, I tried to try to like you see I that. tried to like keep my mouth closed on purpose. And, and well, I'm you like, see I that chin strap. I, I sent Nick this. a picture the other night of me in bed, and I'm <laughs> and I'm wearing like a chin strap that goes up over my head. That's like holding my mouth shut while I sleep. Because what, <laughs> dude, what's what's happening is like because my mouth's open, I end up like it's like forcing so much air down that I end up like swallowing a bunch of air, and then I wake up like bloated because I'm like gassy from like swallowing air. Really. Like, yeah, dude, and that and like I really? showed Nick, I googled it. It's a common thing. Yeah, you wake so maybe up I need to blow the dude. I wake wow, up and I'm like I'm that. burping and I'm farting. I'm like God damn, and it's just and it's from that. And if I like if I wear my chin strap that keeps my mouth shut, I don't deal with that. That's okay. good. Okay. I, what's hey, up? Mouth, I'm gonna get a CPAP this week. Did you, <laughs> did you find something? <laughs> yeah. Found a couple. Here, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you guys the picture I sent Nick. It's, it's pretty cute. It's hilarious. It's pretty cute. So here, this is how, this is how I've been sleeping lately. <laughs> See, I got that chin strap from my face. <laughs> you look like good there, man. Thanks, dude. Yeah, my, like my lips are all pursed and ready to be kissed. <laughs> yeah, it sucks though. But what I was telling Nick is like. You don't realize how like restless you are just because you have all this shit in your face. But then after a while, get used to it and that restlessness goes away. Then you start getting the quality of sleep. You just need to push through that first phase where you just feel uncomfortable and it's yeah. annoying. Because now, honestly, I'll take like a nap midday and I don't put it on and I feel weird without it. Like I put it on now as like a comfort thing. I'm like, fuck, I need my CPAP. And then I'm like, all right, I can sleep. Well, that was it. Okay, so let me tell you my experience last night. That's kind of how I felt a little bit already. So mm -hmm. I put it on, I fell asleep, and mm -hmm. I think it got loose or something, and like air was, you know, seeping through. Blown out of the side. And, and I'm like, and I and I took it off, and I'm like, what the fuck? You know, then, I, then Maria woke up, and, you know, she just kind of put it down and whatever, and I wasn't going to use it for the rest of the night. It was like 3 a.m. She went yeah. back to sleep, and I'm trying to go to sleep, and I'm like, I don't feel right. I need, I need this mask. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, so I had to figure it out myself, and I finally did. I went back to sleep. And the same thing happened again. The air started seeping. I just don't think I have it on tight. I think I move it's, a lot yeah, when I sleep. You just gotta I have those it. straps fucking tight. Yeah, but I I can tell it it, it, it helps obviously because Maria told me I didn't snore at all. So do you have like an Apple mm -hmm. Watch or anything that can track your sleep? I they, so they made me download an app on my phone that lets me know. Yeah, and so it, it'll like it'll I, like tr track the apnea of it yeah. the night. But what you should do is like a, even a Fitbit or an Apple Watch will actually track your sleep and track your REM sleep and show you what kind of quality oh, really? of sleep you're getting. Yeah. Cause like, um, I'll do that. I've done it before where like, I'm, I'll wear it with my CPAP. Then I'll just wear it without my CPAP. And I can see like, it's like, I got four and a half hours of sleep, but I was in bed for eight hours. And then I got seven hours of sleep and I was in bed for eight hours. It's like, it's fucking yeah. big disparity. Big, di big yeah. difference. Mm -hmm. 
Hey guys, um, I don't know about you guys, but I find that there's a lot of pro shows that I'm like, holy shit, this weekend there was a pro show. I know. And it's like, I don't know why I, yeah. I didn't see any advertisement for it. Because I'm not always looking at the list, right? But I think it, the Portugal Pro just happened. Yeah. So I was like, what the hell? As it was happening, I was like, yeah, I knew that there was a show. I don't know if you're, did, did you, did you guys, guys know there was guys, a show? Well, I, I knew the show was happening, but what I thought was funny is, did you guys see everyone spinning on those fucking, on the stage? Yeah, no. I saw the figure girl that? doing that, yeah. They, everybody did it. The bodybuilders did it. These poor figure girls oh, really? were on heels, like, yeah. spinning, dehydrated. So when, when looked, you're spinning like in the front, you're holding your gut? Hold your gut in the front, in the back? And then you... <gasps> <gasps> yes. Release, release. Release in the back, hold it in the front. Uh, but if you guys want, I'll share the screen. We can like review this thing a little bit. Yeah, let's do uh, it. Let me try this. Yeah. yeah. Hey, right. I gotta say we got a, a good response from the first episode. So thank you everybody who watched. I appreciate it. Yeah, we did. For watching. We did. All, all the comments and and everything is very supportive. It's good. You guys can see this, right? Yeah, I can. I can. Yeah, Andre, 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 Andre. I can't see his chest. You can't see his chest. What do you mean? Oh. <laughs> Here you go. All right. Thank you. So, top five. Well, congrats to Andrea uh, Presti. Roman Fritz, he got second place. Happy for yeah. him. Yep. And Emir, Christian, Wolski, and Pitar. So, um, let's go see um, Andrea right here. So, Presti. I'll, well, I'll, try, I'll, try to, I'll try to look for comparisons after, but is that from the show? No, 20, 29 weeks. What the hell? Did he do, do you still a, have your screen do like a picture? Yeah. Because I just see you the buys and tries thing still. Is that what you're on? Oh, one sec. All of that. There we go. Yeah, yeah, go. yeah, yeah. I got you now. Okay. Yeah, I, I got to click the tabs. Oh, okay. I, I, I tag, understand now. tagged photos. Yeah, you're right. What the hell? Okay, let's let's go back in this thing here. <laughs> let's try to see like... um. How can I close this shit? Anyway, Dude, this. Go to the buys and tries page. They should have pictures. Oh, right here. All right. So, is there comparisons that with the? I would think so, but maybe. Yeah, like, like, Listen, like I, I would say covered. I think Bodybuilders Without Borders. I think does a better that. job of the actual comparisons. Yeah, I agree. It was just the Bodybuilders Without Borders. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, um, what the hell? Scroll, scroll am up. I, am, I, the, am I too far they, now, or they just post a lot because there's, oh, right there's Presty right oh, okay, there. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, all right. So uh, let's see right here. You guys see that? Yeah, kind of. Kind of. You well, can. Uh, I'm on the phone. Oh, okay, I see it though. It's fine. So I think this is the big, biggest deciding factor here. I think Roman was obviously fucking peeled. He always is. It's just Presti was just too yeah. big. Yeah, it yeah. was cool. I do think that this was look. Roman's best, though. It, it absolutely yeah. was. It was Roman's best look. I was talking to Roman leading up to the show. He told me he has been eating 1,000 grams of carbs a day for the last six weeks straight. And then no when he leading to the show, he was eating 2,000 grams of carbs a day. What kind of training does he do? He's a super high volume, volume guy. Twice, I don't know. I don't know if he pulls back on that. I, I hope. I, I, let, I think he's just. I don't. I don't he's think. Just, he, I don't he, think he, he does. doesn't. He's a fucking no. maniac. I don't think he can help himself. No, no, no. So no. I competed with him last year, and he came up to me and Dorian like right before finals ended. He's like, "Where are you guys gonna train tonight?" We're like, "What do you mean? Are you like? I know. You mean where are we gonna eat? Where are we gonna eat? <laughs> we thought he was fucking with us. He's like, yo, where are you guys gonna train? Like, work out. He's like, I'm gonna work out. You want to train? I'm like. Fuck no, I don't want to train today. Yeah. <laughs> and he did. And you, know what he, you know what he did? He went and like, I think he got drunk that night and went and trained chest. Like, oh he fucking, I, he, was posting shit, he was posting shit in his story. Like, he had some drinks, then he went and trained chest. Like, guys, the guy is so obsessed with this stuff. Yeah, he, he's, uh, he's crazy, but it's a good yeah, he's an animal. But honestly, I was really impressed with his look. He was very, very sharp, and I think that's like the fullest, biggest version of him we've gotten <clears throat> on stage. Top yeah. two right here. You guys see that? Yeah. Yeah, he looked really good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he looked. He looked really good. They both did. 
Mm-hmm. The guy in third, the guy in third looked nuts too. The like yeah, Amir. Amir I've got, I, yeah. I have the is double double. Check in a second. His back double is crazy. It's like twenty four. Does anyone know how much Roman weighed here? I don't know, mm. but I know. I mean, I, I know. think I think he's a two sixty guy. Let's say like pounds. two two sixty at uh, high two fifties. Really? Yeah, is that heavy? Yeah. I'm gonna text. Yeah, I'll text not... Nat see if I can get a let's see if I can get an answer. I don't. Is I don't a... think. I don't think it was that heavy. No. No. I don't think he was. I mean, I was Look too. That. That's a that's a good side chest by Andrea. Yeah, he looks good there. That was a good yeah, answer. Yeah. It's Portugal, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, Portugal pro. Yeah. Crazy glues by Roman Fritz. Let's zoom on it's, that. Pause. It's absurd. And if you've seen those in person, like when we it's when we were here. Dude, when we were in Tampa, and uh, that was when you did Tampa, Quint, last year, um, just seeing him on stage and seeing those glutes in person, that type of conditioning in person yeah. is like fucking nuts. It does this. It will never do yeah. it justice. Yeah, really Ooh. good back. Last read two by Andrea. I see why he won. It's just like the only back thing that he has. You can see it. Hamstring. Yeah, less ha- like he, he's got better hamstrings, Roman. And I think yeah. maybe bigger – Bigger legs overall from the front and the back, but from the side, for some reason, look at the look at that nice little sweep there. Yeah, and I he think could turn more right. Conditioning it was comparable. Presti was in very good condition. Oh yeah, look how wide he is. Andrew, yeah, yeah. Shoulders are wacky looking. Oh. Yeah, he really yeah. nailed it. I think that's his best ever. Yeah, for Andrea Presti and Roman yeah, he kills also. it at those European shows. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I know Roman plans on that. doing Spain, hey. Spain here in three weeks. Roman, I mean That's Roman's sick. right there, man. He's knocking on the door, dude. This is, oh, yeah. I mean, what, he did, what, what door? It wasn't an easy. <laughs> it wasn't an easy win for Presti. It wasn't like a, a walk away. For no, sure. no. This is I, I, as I'm watching this. I'm like, it's really good. Close. Yeah, yeah. So I'm and, hoping. And I to wonder see, how live. How, yeah. Go ahead. I was just saying, I'm looking forward to seeing. Uh, him in Spain here in three weeks. See how that yeah, for plays sure. out for him. For sure. That's in three weeks? Yeah. Yo, why don't you do Spain? <laughs> I, I don't want to go. I mean, I would love to go to Spain, but I'm, I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good arms. Good arms. Shape is good, I think, here. So that's second and third. I'm, I... I just, I think, third, Roman, yeah. I think Roman looks really good, man. He does. He yeah, looks he awesome. Does. I just think the only thing, if he was a little thicker through the back, it's that's it. Yeah. Yeah. But with Roman, you know what my advice for him would be: eat some fats, do less volume. What's that yeah. noise? What's that it's noise? My, it's my fucking Roomba, dude. Hold on a second. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I was like, what, what's, what's going no, on? No, J- Justin, that's what's unacceptable, on? man. Oh, look, look, at, look at Amy Rose, like, conditioning here, too. Yeah, his back yeah. up was really good. Yeah, I mean, he could, open, he could open up more, I think, his back here a little bit. I feel like I want to, like, just push his shoulder blades apart a little bit. But uh, I like the separation here. You got to see that. There you go. See that nice Christmas tree right here? Yeah. That's yeah. good. Yeah. There's more muscle overall for this this guy. But he's really good. Is he young? Like you said, who said he was 24. 25? Wow, that's good. What? He was yeah. like three, you know what I heard? I also heard show. How old is Hassan? Because I heard he's like 25 years old. Is There's that no right? way. Hass- no. That's Hassan what I thought. might be two years older than me. So probably like 30. I think he's around 30. I'm going to say, there's think, no think way he's Ian. younger than me. I think it was Ian that said he was like 25 or 26. Yeah. How did Hassan is like 28? No. No. Wait, wait. Howdy, howdy, Chupan? No, Howdy's Howdy's in his thirties. No, I'm kidding. I mean, there there no, was no. rumors that he was actually older than he was that he said. Yeah, that when he first came him. on the scene, everyone thought he was like in his forties, but he was like thirty. Yeah. Like, keep people at kite yeah, yeah. and fucking lie about his age. Did Kai Green How do lie about his age? Well, I think Kai Green just never would talk about his age. Like he never talked about how old he was. Why? I, I wonder how how old is he. Does anyone Kyrie. actually know? I have no idea. Like thirty. Well, you want to find out? Be like mid late forties, yeah. I think yeah, so. I think. Forty-seven. 
Well, hey. listen, dude, there's, there's a, you know, this preconceived notion about these numbers that like, if you're at a certain age, people just start writing you off. Yeah. Okay. It's like, it's part of the podcast. You know, so like, oh, people go, oh, well, he's 42. So definitely don't expect much out of him this year. Like, I, I don't know. I can, um, I can understand that. Kind of wrote him. He kind of wrote himself off at the end there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, he, <laughs> he's like, he, "Fuck this! I'm not coming back." Yeah, I don't. I mean, I, I, he had no worries, man. Kai, Kai Green was incredible. Well, well the thing is, the when, hmm? when Phil Heath re, uh, stopped competing, he should have kept going. Yeah, yeah, I agree. He could have. He, I think, if he kept going, he, he could have potentially he, won one. But yeah, but I think, know, I think more to a life. Bit, yeah, I think you had maybe a little bit of resentment too. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah, remember there's like a video of him crying about something with like it's something about the Olympia. He didn't sign his contract in time. And yeah, yeah so I, remember that. That. I remember that. Yeah, something about a grapefruit or something. And then... Yo, Justin, <laughs> Justin, I really I actually watched the whole video. That's <laughs> weird. Yeah, yeah, it is weird. But but Justin, yeah. I think you should grow a ponytail like Ty Green. Well, yeah, I used to have a sick ponytail. I had a, I had a. A rock a man bun, uh, nice fluffy, long hair is very beautiful and majestic. But only at the back though, grow like a rat tail. I could do Ooh, that. Guys, this guy's this. conditioning is fucking nuts. It's really good. Who, yeah, who it is that? nuts. That's in the third place. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The That's German really guy. Good. Crazy. Yeah, like, really there's good. no more fat on there. I want no my fat. butt to look like that. Fuck. I know, not everybody. Is, like, you know. Not everybody can even like have that detail even if you're that conditioned that's a genetic thing to be able to have all like, the striations like i know like I let's think, say nick's, right. nick's glutes might have been that hard at the arnold just he just doesn't have the lines like that you know what i mean no. yeah like that's and one of my goals i would love to have like thing. lines from from the side all the way to the anus but <laughs> don't because, because because this part really is hidden right this part is hidden but i yeah. would like for just once in my life i have striations from here all the way to my anus but Doran yeah. said that why get, I want to just try it. I asshole, like conditioning. Dude. Yeah. So, uh, but Doran said that to get there, you would have to lose a little bit of muscle, which is like yeah. kind of annoying because you see some guys that want shows like Kahar and Hassan, they they don't have glutes like that, but they're no, like really no. big and full. That's so dude, that's like, really it's a good. It has bro, to be a balancing them act. Out? Who are you calling them out, bro? Because they're. Yeah. I said they just won. They're winning shows. What do you mean? They're good, you know. It is, but it is like a, it is a it is a balancing act. Like at, I know at yeah. nationals we push really hard for me to get in shape, and I was really, really, really peeled. But then I did sacrifice some pop in my legs and my back, and it just it's it's tough. And then you even seen it with Nick at the fucking Arnold. That was his complaint. He's like Nick's yeah. condition was insane, and then lost a little pop in his squads. And that's that's because we were really pushing for some shy the cheeks, you know. Yeah, well, it fucking worked. You look crazy. <laughs> I mean, I I'm I I all respect to Samson. I think that you should have won that show personally. That's just it's, that's just you know me. It, yeah, I agree, obviously, but yeah. you know, I just let's get into it. I Let's just go. think for someone, I, I know the Arnolds are not the same as the Olympia, obviously, but for someone yeah. who was third and then sixth and then somehow, you know, I dra- in my opinion, I drastically improved. I think so. And, you know, and this, this is no knock on Samson. I know I love Samson, but I don't think he drastically improved the way I did from show to show. Um, no. I think... Uh, granted, I-, I get it. I wasn't like as full... But I was I was still full, but way more peeled. Yeah, I think this. I, I think what sh- it was, I, I feel like it's like the it, there's him, there's Andrew, they're so comparable, and there was you, you weren't as full, so like they compared like really, well, like that look looked really good against you at that show. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think yeah. that's I think but, that's a fair assessment. But I also think that there's just um, different judging criteria at these shows, man. I think the Olympia is a different show yeah. than the Arnold. You know, and I, I, I would think that there'd be some influence from maybe Arnold himself as to how these uh, these shows are judged. You, I don't you know. Think, I could be wrong. He, you think he, he actually talks to the judges, takes his time to know. do that? I, I don't know, man. And listen, listen. By no, by no means am I am I bitter. Like people think I'm bitter. I'm not bitter. Yeah. Um, but I'm also yeah. allowed to have 
an opinion, you know, course, it's, yeah. but now, yeah. you know, I, my focus is the Olympia, you know, I was third and now my goal is to move up another two spots just like I did last year. So fuck yeah, dude. Yep. That's yeah, all buddy. it's about brother. Yep. Oh, that's a weird AI picture. So what's I, up, I think uh, it's for the taking. I think it's for the taking personally, like the Olympia this year. Like, is he, is he a furry there? Is he the furries? And listen, you know when people <laughs> got, people people got upset when I called you know Hadi a one hit wonder, and it's it's not oh, that you know I don't think he could win again. I think he he could, but when I look at Hadi versus someone you know like a like a Ronnie Coleman or a Phil Heath, you look at them when they win their first one, and you're like, oh shit, like this motherfucker's gonna be on top yeah. for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you, you know, know. I mean, you're, right. you're you're right, hundred percent. Like, there's those certain guys you got. You have you know Dexter Jackson, the Samir Benutz, the fucking yeah. you know, and and you, even. You, at this point, you know, um, God damn it, who won? Uh, Brandon Curry. Brandon Curry. Yeah. You know, these, these are all phenomenal bodybuilders, but it's it, they don't have maybe the the legacy right. mm-hmm. physique, you know. And like I said, like looking at it, he can very much win again. But like yeah. I don't. When I look at him when he wins, it's like I don't see a long trajectory. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. what I see, no, what I see is too dominant, like Ronnie. I look at the two guys that were behind him last year, and I see how much runway these two gentlemen have to progress. And I think that anybody would be naive to think that he's not in trouble. That's how yeah, I feel. He's, yeah. he's always, listen, is, if Derek makes major improvements, he's in trouble. If Derek comes in, like Derek's backside is probably the best, in my opinion. Yeah, it's if, crazy. If Derek's uh front side matches the back in terms of you know hardness and striations as well like his back derek's could he easily win like without a doubt yeah he, now, he proved, he if proved I, that last year you know and if i come in way more improved which i think i i'm going to i could easily move up and win it, yep. it's like you said it's just wide open right now it, yeah. yeah and samson for that matter could drastically improve and just whoop Bump right through you everybody. Never, you never know. But you I think know. that's exciting. I don't think that's anything to like um I think when people it, you know yeah. you say that, some people look at it as like negative, like, no man, this is this is an exciting time in bodybuilding. Yeah. This is fucking it yeah. Is. Yeah. Then yeah. I personally think, you know, um if it, when if Hunter wins, he could easily take his uh top five right back. You know, it's just he a, seems to look pretty of, good. I don't know if you guys seen that last. Hunter, uh, looks, Hunter looks very good right now. That last. I don't, know what happened. Happened. I don't know what happened in the past couple of months, but he he changed so much. We we do. <laughs> I think we know what happened. <laughs> tell me, it, like, can the viewers not know or? No. Okay. No. Yeah, okay tell yeah. me after. Yeah. yeah. But if is if he just keeps going with what he's doing now, he's he's gonna be up there again. That, that video was crazy. Yo, yes. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Hunter or Andrew? I, I feel like we spoke about this a bit last week, but Hunter or Andrew? I mean, I, I still will stand behind. I think I think Andrew can beat him in Texas. Yeah, but I'm listen, uh, I honestly can't decide. But I'm very excited to see. I yeah, yeah. I, Andrew I, Lee I, right I, now. I, I hate to have like a a, a very strong opinion because it's like um you got yeah. two guys that both kind of struggle to nail their conditioning, nail their peak, right? So it's like yeah. if they're both a hundred percent bang on and they both nail it, what's that look like? He improved a lot. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I think a lot of that is posing yeah. as well. The only yeah, thing yeah. of the only thing with Hunter is what if he can nail the peak. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That's it. And look so, and I like mean like historic listen, when I look at this historically, it's like I see a guy like uh Andrew who's five percent off that's like still winning shows because who gives a fuck he looks nuts. And then you're like he looks insane. Yeah. Then you yeah. look at you look at Hunter who's like a little bit off and there and it's like that little bit off on Hunter does not look as it's, good as the little bit off on no. Andrew. Yep. I I agree. And I think uh I think Hunter needs to be a hundred percent. Some people have a bigger margin yeah. for error. You know, and I think that Andrew has yeah, a bigger yeah, margin for right. error. You're right. Yeah. The only thing Andrew needs to do, in my opinion, is uh, I think his conditioning at the Arnold was relatively good, in my opinion. Well, I just think he needs to get bigger from the back and the side shots. Um, mm-hmm. and, yeah. I, and I think he's he's dangerous from the front. I mean, his front last his, his front yeah. double. Um, it's they're they're insane. Yeah, his that's, that's shots, it. It's like they're they're insane. If he's just filled out a little bit more and can push for that conditioning without losing the pop, then game over. Yeah. So that's, that's three days ago, right? 
When yeah. when is the show? Texas. He's, that's uh, six weeks out right there. I is believe. it? It says three days. Three days ago, so that would be Saturday, exactly six weeks yeah. out from the show. Yeah. Okay, six weeks out. So, because I'm saying, I think like Hunter is a little bit ahead with conditioning right now. Well, Hunter's doing he Tampa, is. so he should be. He is, but yeah. the thing is, Hunter's yeah, always Hunter. he's always in pretty good shape. It's just or with the shows it's, that he's done recently, like he hasn't come peak. in like a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, it's also just seems to be that final. And I've been there for like uh, one of his preps when he was prepping for the Olympia in in uh, Houston. I was there four weeks out, and it, and I talked to Ben about it. And it was like they were like just eight to four weeks out, and nothing happens. He's like, I was pushing and pushing and pushing, and just like, really, I, I don't know. It seems I think really? you got a guy like Hunter who never really gets out of shape, and then they start prep strong, and then maybe he just seems to stall. I don't know, but it seems like yeah. they've figured it. They, they, it seems like they figured it he out this year because you got some good momentum going for sure. Mm-hmm. He's got the Floyd yeah. Mayweather hat, and he looks. Does he? Hunter looks a lot, dr- lot drier. Than him, he does, bro. It's it's really hard for me not to pick Andrew over anybody. <laughs> I know. Well, that's because yeah, that's cause fucking. That's your next shape brother. Is, uh, yeah, Andrew. <laughs> know. Andrew's shape is just insane. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. Real. You, you know, but Hunter Couple is, years, uh, yeah. you know, Hunt, let's not forget Hunter is a top five Olympian and, you know, he had one bad showing and it, and uh, I think he's fucking pissed about it. So I think we're going to see a different oh, version of Hunter. Wait, which, the bad showing? Like, which Olympia, one are you talking Olympia, about? Olympia. The Olympia. This is, Oli- this yeah. is Olympia last year, yeah. That wasn't, it wasn't I, his best, obviously. I didn't yeah. think he looked bad. I can't really no. remember how he looked. No, no, but when you dropped, what, what was he, seventh? Yeah. Yeah, he went from fourth well, to seventh. Yeah, but oh, when you drop from fourth to seventh, like, that's a, you know, that's like a fuck, you know? When you find yourself re-qualifying for the show, yeah. It was. It was not yeah. not the same show, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, two of, and two of the guys that pushed him down were Nick and Derek. It's like, well, fuck. <laughs> you know? It's true. Yeah. Derek came in and just... Yeah, it's funny because I picked him to win last year, like way before we ever saw him next to anybody. I'm like, I got Derek winning, and that's funny. Shit, Everyone thought, close. You, yeah, people it thought was I was crazy. <laughs> I, really, I really think, think I think this Olympia is going to be very, very um, entertaining. For it's going to sure. be really fun. Yeah, it is. Yeah, sure. we're going to get Nick that's bigger, fuller, and shredded. We get and Derek pissed. with and hopefully pissed. more detail in the front. The I'm, literally, I'm literally sitting at 290 right now. Okay, nice. And you just at started, five foot, you just go on the seat pad. <laughs> yeah, the seat like on the seat pad, baby. Fuck, you're not gonna get the seat pad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they can't stop you this time, man. Get yeah, no. big, baby. It's exciting. Yeah, this man. one's gonna be exciting. Yeah, I'm actually yeah. glad I'm sitting out so I could get even bigger. Yeah, for Yo. sure. Yeah. I think Quinn, Quinn, you, know, no. you know, it'd be cool, Quinn, if you did New York next year. I mean, listen, anything could happen, bro. But I, I, I've always yeah. wanted to do New York. In New York. Uh, here, here's the thing, right? You took like what a year, almost two years off. You come back, yeah. New York Pro and win. Yeah, baby. Just talk. I'll nice. run that. I'll that's run that. Nice. that that's got a nice storyline to it. That got a nice ring to that it. That does. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, a nice, ri- nice ring. Yeah, 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 nice, beautiful ring. I don't know, mm-hmm. true. Yeah, you know, I I could use something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you wear yours, Nick? I I used to have a necklace. I haven't worn it. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't think I would like her wearing a ring. I couldn't. So what well, do we, the ring doesn't fit anymore. What do we? Um, no. What do we think is going to happen in Vancouver? I think that uh, Hassan's going to take this one, huh, General? Oh shit! Let's let's, let's who's find doing out. Doing it? I don't even know who's doing it. Besides, it's like, Hassan. It's like six four, guys. Four people. Out. Yeah. There's it's four pretty, people. Well, I think it's six. I don't know what's going on, but I think there's been a lot of shows like that this year. Yeah, it's looking like uh, Hassan, Nate Spear, um, Stanimal. I think that might be our top three. Well, if there's only four. Whoa! What a <laughs> nice know. Instagram, guys. Like, <laughs> Lovely. Again, I think, I think bodybuilders that borders would should, would have the list. Really. Yeah, let me see. What about here. this? No? Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Bodybuilders without borders. Bodybuilders. 
I like that Antoine. That was funny. Yeah, yo. That's funny. Okay, so Stan hey, Delongu. What's up? How's it going? What? Man? Oh, I'm good, bro. What's up? Oh, All right, here's the list, guys. That's, fucking... that's it. Yep, that's it. Was... Yo, this the show's stacked. Look. <laughs> well, I think Asan gets this. Um, I'm yeah. gonna go with Asan. Listen, yeah. I'm Asan gonna gets... go against the grain and I'm gonna pick Stan. <laughs> Don't laugh. I like this. I really like Stan. I really yeah. like Stan. Stan's really? peeled, I like though. Stan's peeled. He is. He is. Stan, he is. Yo, Hassan. Stan's Stan's right. peeled. Hassan is really good, though. Uh, Hassan, like, Hassan should win, realistically. But uh, I don't yeah. know what happened you know, from Toronto to... Yeah. You know what I love about Hassan? Win or lose, Hassan always smiles. No matter what. True. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, seems like yeah. A, he seems like a class act. I love it. Uh, he, he loses. Really loves himself, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He never... I love it. Very you know humble, what's wild? Yeah. So if you go back, like, look at... Um, so it's like the Atlanta Pro. There's a 212. It looks like there's like seven guys. Oh, and here? then you swipe. And then, yeah, and then you swipe over. Now look how many classic guys there are. Look at that list. Holy wow. shit. Wow. Like, what the fuck, and man? People want, power. people want to know what's going on with bodybuilding. Well, there it is, dude. Who are you, bro? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Name spelled wrong. Um, are they still, doing, are they still doing like top two qualify on some of these shows for the classic guys? Are, they were doing nah. that? Mm-hmm. There was a hundred no. guys last time. At the what Olympia. the nuts? What the fuck? Yeah, it was really, really long. It's just yeah, it, it was seems un- unnecessary. Se- yeah, seventy competitors at the Olympia in any category is weak. Like, I feel like thirty-five is even too much. Dude, when and you're in. That's it. I think. Oh, two I think... hours ago. See that fresh yeah. sound content. Yeah, baby. Look at them titties, the... dude. I saw with the heavy, heavy press. That chest is so full of zero carbs. It's n- yeah, fucking crazy, dude. What a, <laughs> what a nice what a nice rack that guy's got. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's at least like triple D's. Yeah. yeah. Hey, so I um, yeah, you know, Del. yeah he, wins, Del. he wins he wins that. that. <laughs> he has another chest as as of a front delt. He looks good, man. Look, look at his right front delt. It's just sticking out. I it's know. It's like it has a life of its own. That's crazy. Yeah, no, he looks mad. Bro, he looked really good in Toronto. Like, really good. Yeah. Do you guys... Um, Ready for, ready for I got some. I got some questions going. You guys want to uh, get some questions and some topics? You guys want to yeah. see the other bodybuilders, right. or you want to skip that? Oh, wow, well... Uh, the Canadian guy, yeah. right? Yeah, that's right. Sorry. Sorry, yeah, guys. You won't discriminate against yeah. Canadians. I know. So this is how Stan looks right now. Four hours ago. Here's a, here's my opinion. I think Stan looks phenomenal. I just think he needs more size. He does. And then, yeah. and I mean, then that, that's going to be, the, especially standing next to a guy like Hassan, there's going to be a big disparity of size yeah. and roundness and fullness there. But then again, he could expose him with conditioning, so we really don't know how it can go. Yeah, if he comes in like super sharp, which I think he will, it should be. Yeah, yeah he will. Uh, I think that last yeah, show he was fucking still... bang on. I think I think Hassan's I think it's Hassan's show to lose, but um, man, who knows? Be interesting. That's the word. And I, honestly, it'd be kind of cool if uh, if Hassan ended up in Chicago. That'd be fun. Yeah. I don't think he's well, going what to. What would he doing in Chicago? Well, oh, they're they're they are beside each other. Look, competing. Yeah, he. I guess that he already in, uh, lost to Hassan. Yeah, that that was in Orlando. No, yeah, yeah, Orlando. Mm-hmm. Orlando, There's yeah. just a big size difference yeah, there, you know. Huge, uh, there, look at the legs and stuff. I mean, yeah. the thing with Steinemol, which is really crazy, um, Broku is doing that too. Started his physique or whatever, no. started his physique, and then he did like classic, and then he's doing open. It's yeah, crazy. I think yeah. Broku did 212 and then open. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, it's pretty crazy that Steinemol was a men's physique pretty boy before, and now he's like open yeah. bodybuilder. Really, he did cool. pretty good in classic, Broku. if I recall. Yeah, hey, Olympian. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Olympian. So, uh, okay, let's see this guy here. So, that's an East Coast Canadian guy. Oh, fuck! I, I forgot you know about him? him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think I think I was looking at this guy. I think the the only issue here would just be conditioning because he's and a little bit of size. Yeah, yeah. Legs yeah. Are like... Dude, but the, the his upper body. Pretty... 
Sorry, go on. Oh, really cool. Look at that. If you see that. But the thing with him, I was 20 years old. I did the Nationals, and I got last place, all right, because I was partying too much. And I met him <laughs> backstage in 2008. And we like, were talking and stuff. He was still natural back then, doing really? the Nationals. Yeah, and um, this guy has one of the crazy genetics. And I, I think, like, only – it's always been on and off with, like, motivated to do shows and stuff because he doesn't compete every year. And I, But he all, always looks like – like this, like, uh, you know, like always, always looks like that. So he never loses the full mess and stuff. It's like, yeah, really round muscle yeah. belly. So, and but this is, I think this is one of, it was a 212 before, yeah. Well, that'll With be him, that'll even be when he was a, yeah, when he was an amateur, it was always like the conditioning in the lower half from the back. That was like a little bit of his like, um, kryptonite, but uh, we'll yeah. see how he looks, um, you know. Yeah, he's a two thirty pound thing. That's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, you can, you can see muscle. it there, but yeah, go to his side yeah. chest. Go to go to one of his side chests because that pose is so crazy on him. Any of the videos in the like videos he like poses, yeah, like you just see how round this guy is. <laughs> yeah, his, his yeah. arms. <laughs> he looks good. Very good. Yeah, it's crazy. He's from the uh, East Coast guy. He got some big ass arms, boy. I know huge triceps. Yeah. It's like leave some for the others, man. And he'll like come completely off for periods of time and stuff. Like he's not like. He has like I think he has a pretty balanced I'll... life. <laughs> Good for him. Yeah, look at triceps. I I really like 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 it when they're from the back. The guys on the last red, you can see the bulbous triceps like that. Yeah, it's like mm, sticking out. Sweeping, yeah, for sure. It's like it adds so much, so much shape. Yeah. Boom. Nice. That's crazy, right? So who, who's next? Around. Who's next is um oh yeah, our local guy Aaron Gully. With with Aaron, I think that he will be the heaviest and biggest bodybuilder up there. But yeah. the only thing with him, uh, and by the way, he like probably works harder than like. Or as much as like somebody, he can't do more than he's doing. That's what I mean. He's working, he works yeah. really, really hard. But it's just maybe um, his legs, which are improved since from before, but he just needs to keep going. Yeah. You know, and this guy, he won't give up. But you see this guy in the gym, you feel small. Maybe except Q, but like this really? guy is like really tall. Oh, yeah. Yeah, except, except Quentin. This guy is huge. Really? Yeah. yeah, you can't tell. I can't tell in this video. I mean, he doesn't look small, but he, I can't tell. How was he? Six, six, two. You said? Let me find a. Yeah, he's like yeah, six, two. Probably between six, three, three six, three. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, he's a big guy. Yeah. The, the thing I with him, it. I don't know if he ever, like, like from the front, he gets conditioned easily, but it's from the back, like glutes and hamstrings. Sometimes it's not fully yeah. in. But uh, if he's just mm-hmm. not as focused on the fullness and just tries to come in peel. I think he'll do the best he's ever done, for sure. Well, the thing with Vancouver is not that stacked right now, so yeah. I mean, he could like sneak up in the top three for sure because there's Hassan, there's Stan. Yeah. Um, we'll check who else is there. Let's see. Oh yeah, Morgan. Morgan. Another guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Morgan is another taller bodybuilder. Yeah. But um, he has more of a like um. Oh, his legs are really good. That's the thing compared to Aaron. His legs are really, really good. Look on the side, all the striations here. And um, yeah, I just like uh, the separation he has a little bit too. He's a little bit more like um, separated in some area. Like a clean, clean look. His back is really good too. Another, another really, and the curious thing with him is that he would like diet down, eating like a most bodybuilders off season diet. Look at his last spread, really good. Yeah. But sometimes what happens with taller bodybuilders, it's like, <laughs> They have a hard time looking full compared to like the shorter ones. Yeah, you know, because look at that. He looks like really like aesthetic, like, but then you, you're you're gonna put that proportion against somebody who's shorter. He looks like a guy who like could put on more muscle, which is crazy to say because I think he's like two eighty right now or something. Yeah, he's heavy. He's heavy. It's two seventy five. Two seventy five mm-hmm. in the morning, which is yeah. like pretty pretty big. It's like it's big. Yeah, that's very big. Did you pull up a uh, Nate yeah. Spear yet? No, he's the next guy. Where? Yeah. Right. Uh... Oh, wait, where is he? One sec. Nate Let's just posted him. pictures on his page, and his okay. he's fucking peeled. Okay, let me find him. I thought I thought I had him. Let he looked great at that last show. What show did he do recently? 
Uh, he did. He did Orlando, didn't he? Was it Orlando? He no, did? No, 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 no. He did. Cal- he did Cali. He did New York and Cali. Oh, okay, like that guy. Yeah, that right guy here. has such a sick fucking avid thigh. Like, go through that and go to his avid thigh. I think click click right on that photo, the New York Pro one. Hey, good good V taper here. Uh, do you know where his avid thigh is? At, right in the or New York Pro. Uh, go up, up back Hold up on top. Okay, okay. Where are you going? Right there. Now just click over. There's, I don't know. Maybe it's not in there. Boom. Yeah, like that one. Bam. Yeah. Sick. Nice. It is good, huh? Good, really good but quads you, too. Yeah, really good. If you look at, but yeah, he the pictures he just posted, he's in really good shape right now. So it'd be exciting to see. Cool thing about what? Nate. Yeah. Nate's Nate's always in condition. Yep, we turned pro together in uh, Nationals 2021. Oh, you did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I think even, Nate. Even in the year time. we did, yeah, even the year we did North Americans together, um, when when I won, he was he just he just peeled, just peeled. Yeah. He's oh, honestly he's, he's one of those guys that is much bigger in person. Like you don't really realize. I think he's like five he eleven, almost six foot, and he's just a he's a big fucker. Oh, he is. Yeah, yeah, he's a big. He is big. I thought he would look shorter. So I guess he is really big. Yeah, he's a pretty big guy. Hmm. Pretty freaky, huh? Yeah, I, yeah, think I, I saw really him in person in Boston. Yeah, he looks good. Yeah. And, uh, I think yeah, he'll he, do good. He, in this, he does in this look good in person. Yeah, he's got a, I per- he's got a good I, coat too. I personally have him ahead of of Stanimal. True. Me too. True. I, I think I think I gotta agree with you. So it's gonna it would be a son. If we want to do a little prediction, a son. Sure. Nathan. Nate. Stan. Uh, and I'm gonna go. Aaron or Morgan, and then oh, Prince at the end. You, I'm assuming you got Prince, Prince at the end. Huh? You got Prince at the end. Prince at the end. I got Prince it, at the end. It's just because Prince? I think he's a, he's a, a black Prince guy. is the black guy. Yeah. Black yeah, guy. yeah. He's, he's, guys, he's 30, 230 pounds only. Really good muscle. It used to be 212, and his conditioning is not a strong point. Yeah. Yeah, you and think he's, he's conditioning. Inside, like, I, I think True. so, because on. It's really rare, like that a two twelve guy who was conditioning wasn't good moves to the open would improve conditioning. Yeah, yeah. I'm just huge. going by, by by like logic facts in my head, but I w- I would be the first to be really happy that it would like place way like that. I would be happy to be wrong because I <laughs> he's an OG guy from in Canada, right? So I really like him. But um, yeah. yeah, I think that's my prediction. I don't know what you guys think. I think that sounds about right, but I think that that last yeah, right? final. Five, six, four, five, six could kind of shuffle anyway, right? Yeah, the last three, you think they would kind of shift around? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Huh? So anyway, good luck to everybody doing that show. Yeah, jeez, good luck, yeah, be cool. Good yeah. luck. All right, guys, no. I think we're an hour in. Do you guys want to add something more? As, Who's listen, I, as, if you gotta go, oh, yeah, do you, you have to go, Antoine? I do have some questions. Um, I can. Yeah, let's do let's do ten minutes of question that we'll we'll show okay. up because I, I think I have to go. I have to because I'm the host, right, with the program. I think if I leave, everyone <laughs> leaves. So let's do the yeah. questions a little bit. You're right. Okay, let's see here. Um, Antoine, what are you drinking? It's coffee in a in a little like a scientific <laughs> cup that says caffeine molecule on it. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. Let see here. It's hard to go through these questions and pick one. We should all be doing this next time so we can kind of all have a list. Um, skip, skip all the ones about squad. Yeah, there's plenty of those. <laughs> about who? Skip all those. About, yeah, skip the ones about Fwad. Uh, <laughs> Give the people what they want to see. Here, this will this, this be a good one for you. Uh, Nick, right to now. answer, it just says, any tips for tightening up the waist? What have you done differently, Nick? <laughs> So I think there's a lot of factors. I think for me, I think a lot of it was the fact that um, I, I I went a long time without having like a crazy long off season. So mm-hmm. I wasn't really necessarily force feeding so much. Yeah. Um, I was also, I also paid attention to eating a lot of foods. I just digest properly the best that I could. Yeah. Um, and I just think it was years of, you know, training abs frequently, um, practicing vacuums, um, and I honestly, I, some people may agree, disagree, but I think taking out certain exercises 
I think helped bring my waist in you think? instead of being staying out wider. Which ones? Like yeah. what? I don't squat. I don't deadlift. I don't do any things of those. Anything that like involves. I, I do see leg. you. Yeah, see, I see you stiff leg sometimes. But I don't do it as often as I used to. I actually prefer to do, I guess, a form. It's 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 on the um, like lower back extension machine. Sure. Except you do it for like the hammy. And I'll use like a weighted barbell for that type of thing. Yeah. Um, I, and personally, I feel that was way more than uh, an RDL. And I did yeah. those my entire Olympia and Arnold prep. Um, so do you just think like, to... like some of that, that internal bracing when you're lifting a barbell, you think that can translate? Yeah. I'm not saying for it, everyone. I would say that might not be for everybody, but maybe for you, you do feel that like pressure in your obliques I, or something. I, yeah, and I think you know genetically, I, like I, I have a, a wider waist. It just it is what it is. So yeah. for me, if I can eliminate things that I feel um, don't make it better, then yeah, I, you know that's what I have to do. And and like me, not free weight squatting anymore or deadlifting on this you know nature, I don't think you know, um, did anything to my physique in a negative way. Yeah, well, um, especially where but, you're at development wise. You know, like maybe some of these guys need to be doing that stuff in the beginning, but you can kind of reassess as you get deeper. Oh, of course, you know, I was yeah. I was a big squatter, big deadlifter in the beginning yeah. of my you know career. I, that was something I did weekly. Um, and I, again, I think it helps build a foundation. I think it is a necessary movement in the beginning of someone's career. But I also think down the road, if you begin to find things that kind of work better for you, your physique, whatever you sure. know, think, then by all means. So what I would say. I think a lot of what you see when someone's waist widens is going to be inflammation in the gut and like chronic inflammation over long periods of time. So like stomach distension, bloating in the mm. off season, spending those long periods of time where you're just distended and uncomfortable. So I think prioritizing gut health and managing a healthy gut is going to be one of the most important things you can do. So like well, digestive enzymes, morning gut health drinks, and like I eating do. foods, yeah. eating foods that fucking that actually digest and work well for you. So like being being like acutely aware, like hey, eggs bloat you, Nick. So you're like, I got fucking rid of them. You know what I mean? No so like, that's the type of shit that you just need to be really in tune with your body, and you have to just become a fucking student of your own body to recognize what is causing these things. And I think that that can be. I think that's gut health is one of the biggest contributing factors, in my opinion to like the stomach distension that you see i agree you which know? product so, and asian muscle you can i was gonna for say that? so betaine hcl and then glutamine I actually, you know, i'm doing 15 betaine. grams of glutamine uh before or 10 grams of glutamine before every single meal right now so i really? use it fucking yeah i'm using it yeah matt has me cranking oh. it like fucking six times a day because like i was dealing with some oh. gut health issues so oh. i've been doing it before every meal i do that i do that and then i do the betaine hcl with three meals throughout the day i'm taking zinc carnosine with every like two tabs with yeah. every single meal I'm taking woven zyme between meals i've got um like the revived gi drink that i'm taking that uh yeah. leviathan nutrition gi stuff so like i fucking threw the kitchen sink at it because i was dealing with some issues and i'm telling you my, my waist is already small but i've just noticed it fucking really sucking just because no, it feels it, better yeah. it just, it's just a, he a healthier environment less inflammation and you're going to see less distension and, and ultimately your stomach will come in so that's my that's my opinion I obviously lo this. long term paying attention to that stuff is is going to be super important yeah, I think obviously gut health is definitely a number one priority. You guys got anything to add to that? Yeah. Or should we move on to another question? Can move on, man. I'm probably the worst what person to speak on that. Yeah, shut up, dude. <laughs> yeah. Tiny weight. Get out of here. You do have you do have a small waist and that's uh it's a blessing. I you know, I have a small waist, but like in the off season, you wouldn't think that my waist gets really small because it looks like I got a fucking belly, mm. you know what I mean? I agree. Like, I get some love handles, man, but I, yeah, it comes with it, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. right, so this says cardio regimen in the off season. I don't know about you guys, but I think too many people fall off and aren't doing cardio in the off season. I think cardio is very important. I think round. minimum minimum 25, 20, 25 minutes, five days a week, all, okay. all year round. Yeah, that's a yeah, magic special. Yep, exactly. I do but it listen, now. Or I do an hour every day besides leg day. Yeah, but Antoine, that's that's you because you're fucking wired differently. And that's actually <laughs> another 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 question was like, do you think if I can find it, it was like, um, do you 
find yourself being OCD or do you think that that is like a good trait within bodybuilding? I can't find the question, but it it is something along those lines. And I think that we all probably deal with a little bit of that, but Antoine, that hour in the morning, what do you think drives you to do that every day? It's not in the morning. I do it. I do it for my heart, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I do it for my, and also it's like, I feel like uh, I'm burning more calories this way so I can actually eat a little bit more. Yeah. So I'm kind of like burning the excess crap that I don't need in my head. And it's also good for the heart to do a steady state for a long time. What do yeah. you do? And um, I do the, I do the, it's very, very easy. So I do the recumbent bike. So I'm like that. I bike like this. Oh, and I yeah. PS5. Oh, oh that's awesome. awesome. Super easy. What, what, what yeah. level do you have it at? Uh, so I do level 12. Holy but um, I think it's a fake level 12, unless I got really good at it. Doran says I'm just good at it now, so I don't feel it's 12. But uh, I feel like it's kind of too easy for 12. But then I tried it at the gym. It was similar because I, I'm, I've been using the same bike for like two years, right? right. Or yeah. more. So it's like I wonder if the bike is getting like well, beat up. You, uh, you also have yeah. tremendous legs. So maybe it's just the power of the huge quads. True. Yeah, one thing that I, I'll say, that if you're going to do a, a bike every day, I used to pedal with my knees like that. Then I had knee pain. So I, I put them back in the track, like on the leg press, whatever you do. I pedal like that. So I kind of use my groin to make them parallel. And now the, yeah. the pain's gone. It's very I, important I, if you do the bike, don't, don't pedal like that. Yep. I actually find that my, my knee problem. pain. Thank you. My <laughs> knee pain gets, yeah, I could see that. Like you were kind of a bow legged fella, Nick. I watched the way you walk. It's just, I, I just, yeah, yeah, it's very important, Nick, that you do that because you're still young, right? Nick, you're still young, but. <laughs> Yeah. Once you get into your 30s, shit might like happen that you could have prevented by just doing simple things like that. Yeah. yeah. So I think I found I found that my knee pain gets better as I'm doing cardio. Like I think just that movement in the knee joint, pushing blood into the quads, it can help mm-hmm. help with recovery. I think people so I can mm-hmm. I can fucking double right into another question because somebody was like, um, what would you be advice for somebody who uh progress is stalling in the off season? cardio is is one of those things that I think people neglect. Like they look at it as a way that's going to hinder their progress. But like you just said, it helps helps you eat more food. It can help lower your blood pressure. It can create a better environment within your body to progress. You know what I mean? I think too many people look at it as like this thing they don't need or, or like, Hey, I'm burning calories while I'm trying to bring in calories. Why would I do that? Well, it's just going to make your body more efficient. It's going to help you with your appetite. It's going to help you maintain, like I said, lower blood pressure, help with cholesterol. Like these are, there's so many things that, that daily cardio regimen can help that can help you progress. You know what I mean? I agree. Yeah. I, what I can add to that is that you're in the off season, let's say you're the plateau, you're kind of forced me, don't know what to do. Bring the food down of the cardio, get hungry again. You won't lose muscle if no. for a month you eat a little bit less. Yeah, like I come think, on, man. So yeah. it's like I think, I think like if you if you're pushing and then everything is uncomfortable, it's like your body your body's telling you something. Pull back yeah. a little bit, change yeah. something, maybe lower the volume, increase some cardio, lower the food. Um, and I think like um, you should have periodization within the off season if needed. That's my opinion on it. Like, oh, you I don't really have to agree with push. that. Well, I think yeah. that yeah. I think that uh, Quinton's probably de- dealing with that right now with Matt. Right, he's p- recently pulled you back and then pushed you back up. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like recently, like beforehand, I think we were pushing around like 6,500 and at one point around 7,000 calories. And then more when instead of throwing in like burgers Damn. after every training day. But uh, he did that yeah, with burgers point, after I every training day? Yeah, yeah man, five I days watched it. Yeah. I watched yeah. this shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, brought, I, I brought a pizza box. <laughs> yeah, I'll never forget. I'm, I'm sitting at the table eating food and Quentin comes, you know, hopping around. He's like, do you mind if I sit down and eat my pizza with you? <laughs> I'm like, sure, bro. <laughs> and Matt had that in the plan. The huh? whole pizza. Damn. <laughs> it was good, man. Yeah, oh, Matt, in yeah, the beginning of prep, time. I had, I, in the beginning of prep, we were like dropping really fast. So Matt had me doing like an off-plan meal and then it was like burgers after legs. So I had like two cheat meals a week. There, it was like three weeks, That's but cool, I was like, man. this is amazing. Yeah. And, yeah. and now here but I am honestly, there's, eating there's time air. There's a time to push, there's a time to pull, you know, and I feel like I'm progressing even more since we pulled back. So, yeah. Well, I think it's sure. like that the yeah. slingshot effect, right? You got to pull back to shoot forward, and I think not enough people yep. do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That what you what you That's said, it. Antoine, about about getting hungry, like restoring insulin sensitivity and getting your body mm-hmm. to a place where it's utilizing those nutrients, man. You just can't can't redline for fucking long periods of time. 
No. It's not conducive. No, no yeah. red line is a good word for it. I agree. Yeah. Um, what about favorite Saturday morning cartoon growing up? I think, Nick, you answered this the other day. I was a Rugrats guy. I was Rugrats, yeah. I love yeah, Rugrats. Dude. I don't remember Rugrats. what I watched. I liked Rugrats. I liked um, Jimmy Neutron. I Ooh, liked, I liked uh, Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> I, you know I liked I, Fairly Odd Parents. I liked it see, all. See, that's a that's a generation just ahead of me. Like I just missed that. Like I just missed like the SpongeBob generation and the Jimmy Neutron. Like I was just a little <laughs> bit ahead of that. But you know what I used to watch all the time was the fucking classic X Men cartoons. I like oh, X Men. I don't yes. know if you guys are seeing like yeah. like the new pictures of Logan that are popping up in the in the new uh, Deadpool yeah. movie, but yeah. he's got like the the yeah. yellow and blue suit. Like, ah oh, man, that's the shit. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's I remember that's sick. three. Yeah, dude, those are the those are the old cartoons. I used to watch those every fucking morning. I love that shit. Yeah, it's cool. I used to watch that when I was like five, man. <laughs> it's a serious. Yeah, film, dude. But... I, I, yeah, I used to have like like big dolls in my room, like uh, yes. uh Wolverine yes. and um. His brother was his brother's name. Um, uh, Sabretooth. Sabretooth. Yep. Yep. My brother had mm-hmm. my brother had the Sabretooth. I had the Wolverine. We fight and shit. That's fucking that's fun. What we do. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I, was I don't remember what cartoon I was watching. I think I I, 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 like I the, would uh, watch Teen Titans. Teen Titans every time. Oh yeah. Movie. Yeah, it was all right. I know it was like you... Justice League shit, but the younger ones, you know. It was okay. cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I did. The, I should have done this a little cartoons. bit. I should have done this a little bit uh, sooner so we could have more questions. I mean, I got a fair amount of questions here, but. Um, um, I don't know, Antoine. Do you got to get out of here? It's been about ten minutes. Um, I can have another five if you want. If you have another question, let's do. Let's do one or two more. Yep. Let's see. I got somebody in 36 minutes at the gym. Okay, let's just go with a stupid one. Extra pair of tits on your woman. <laughs> where 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 do you put them? Front or back? Well, extra pair of tits. I got, oh I got, I got two, uh, two, uh, two versions of that in my head right now. I already made some, some <laughs> different uh, scenarios. So okay. from the front, you add them underneath the other ones. It's like four tits, right? Which like kind of makes more sense like some animals maybe have that so it yeah, still looks yeah. like a normal mammal so you can put but your face like it, between the tits you'd be like yeah. here so you can yeah, just yeah, yeah. like you can like you can fuck them like this and like that like all <laughs> legos and, yeah. the, and the other thing is that if you put them on the back doggy style you can grab like this yeah that would be pretty sweet but but if she's it, just walking around with tits on her back kind of looks weird Kind of looks weird. It might, yeah, maybe just tits up, just double tits up front. I, would, I think I'm, I I think I'm a double front. titter. I'm a double titter. Yeah, I think I'm going to front. It's like total I'll recall, right? Front. Our total recall was three four, tits. Yeah. Four pair of yeah. double Ds, baby. Four pair of double Ds. Four <laughs> pair of double Ds. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, you, you think you like Man, a big, I, baby. I wonder, yeah. So I, I wonder why like nobody did this already. Why nobody did They add fucking shit. Yeah, yeah. like crazy, like spurs things. Why is there nobody has, like? Let me Google. There has to be a this four, t- four, t- four, four, four tits. Four tits woman. Uh, four tits woman. Let's see. Four tit procedure. Woman, Twenty-two with four breasts finally goes to undergo surgery. What? Images. <laughs> Wait a minute. Same uh, surgery. Uh, <laughs> are you pulling it up? You looking? Wait a minute. No, I'm not gonna pull it up on the screen. Well, why not? I mean, I'm so confused by what I see. Yeah, this is bizarre. Yeah, that's a that's not a real three titter. I'm seeing a lot of arm, arm, I'm seeing a lot of armpit boobs. That doesn't count. Ew. Yeah, what's up, Ew. Yeah, what's up with it's not like I think like, it's like, I think that's just like a fat. That is yeah, that's no, that's not, totally that's not, Yeah, it's, it's, it's not, uh, do you see the one that says like hypertrophy of I don't like, old want this to your fat. <laughs> no, no, I got I actually got off that page pretty quickly. It was it was weird. Uh I got one more question. Chronic. Do you guys so I've actually been question. asked this a few times. How do you avoid getting stretch marks? Do you guys ever deal with stretch marks? Don't give I a fuck. Yeah, I, I had them like here and they were pretty prominent, but they they, they faded over the years. I think that mm-hmm. was due to 
I just I got like big at a fast rate, so Definitely. the skin just stretched really hard. Yeah. Um, but over the years, like they they faded, like you can't really see them anymore. But they, in terms of trying to avoid it, I I don't know. I don't think there's really anything no. you can do, and I think some people are going to have like a genetic propensity for it. Like you know, you see some moms just have stretch marks on their belly, and some don't. So like I I don't really think there's much you can do. I, I've heard of guys like you know coconut oiling every. I don't. But I mean, what do you really do? I mean. If you're gonna grow at a fast rate, you're probably gonna get some stretch marks. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just embrace it. I think it's cool. I was like, yeah, I got big. Fast I was like, look at my lap. I see a fucking pull. But yeah, I got like a Are little bit here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I had them bad when I was like 20, and it, it was it was really bad. It looked like I got scratched by a cat or something. So I would use this like vitamin E cream to try and put it down because oh, I thought you? it looked like retarded. Yeah, but it, it didn't do anything. But over time, they just kind of went away. Like, I can't really yeah, see they'll end up they'll end up fading. So whoever just asked this, I think yeah. just you know, just gotta roll with it. And then as time goes by, that shit will fade, and it's no, nothing to really worry about. Did, did we did lose Antoine Quentin, or, or Antoine? Where did he he's go? Our, he's, 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 he's it's still recording. Well, maybe we should just wrap this up since he seems to be gone, huh? <laughs> Yeah, um, he yeah, he wanted to do ten more minutes anyway. I don't know. If, let me let me text him real fast. Make sure we should. Yeah, like where'd you go, bro? <laughs> oh, 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 he's there back. He okay, okay. Oh my god, back. I was so scared, guys. I thought that I fucking everyone died. It was pretty cool. I just logged back in. I was so scared. Hey. <laughs> well, what do we think? Should so we run your bad boy up? Yeah, stretch marks. Yes, we all have him. Do we accept them? Yes. We like them. <laughs> Who cares? Yep. I love it. Yeah, fair enough. Maybe not the yeah. best question to end on, but um, I think this gentleman is worried about stretch marks, and we're here to tell you, fuck it. Don't worry about it. My worst Embrace is the stretch marks. marks. It's the, it's the, if yep. that's the price to pay to be yoked and jacked, it's, I likely pay that price every day of my life. Yep. <laughs> How's that? So uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Beautiful. See you guys in a bit. Yep. Peace out, everybody.